All right, Surfer Ray here in NorCal Bees, and uh, we've been extracting honey all day today, and uh, boy, I'm really stoked the way everything's working. We, Like I said, we redid this whole thing. We got the radiant flooring heating, which like I got set at 95 degrees, so they heat the honey supers from the ground up, so the, you know, the honey's nice and warm when we go. It doesn't really get 95 in there. I put a thermometer in the middle. It's, it's running about 80 degrees in there, which is perfect for extracting honey. Then we got Josman, he's pulling the supers, he's cleaning all the honey, and then I'm over here with the capping tank right here, which is usually on. I shut it off for the video. You can see down in there, it chops up everything. And then the honey comes out down here in the gate valve right there and goes into the bucket. We like to use this capping uh, planer. It works really, really well. I love just how fast, easy. And if you look, there's not a bunch of wax. You use a bunch of other things like a capping scratcher and all that. It leaves a bunch of wax, which turn around, you know, plugs up your filters. So with the planer, it just makes a really nice, smooth cut. It drops in there. Then we got our big 20 frame extractor right here where we just loading it up and we're going to spin that in a minute. And the planer works good too, even if it's not a good even one. Uh, we don't really have any uneven ones. I can kind of show you on this one here. So I can kind of guide this wherever I want just to cut the cappings off where I need. See, like this isn't even cap, so I'm going to go around that. So it's really agile as far as where I can want. If I have to go deeper somewhere, I can just score it like that. Makes it real easy to get places that are ir irregular instead of using that darn capping screw. Well, here's a good example. So that's all uneven right there. So I can just come in like this and pull that off like that. And then I leave the rest of my comb intact because that's important because it takes seven pounds of honey to make one pound of wax. So, planer works really good. Really stoked on uh, on the capping planer as well. And then we got our sink going, which is so nice now to just have running water in here. And uh, yeah, everything is just working really good. We'll show you in a minute once we get this extractor going and the honey flowing. All right, Surfer Ray, NorCal B. You. All right, let's check out what's going on in here. If the trailer's rocking, don't bother knocking. <laughs> going on, Jokeman? Oh. Look at that golden nectar, baby. We got the 20 framers growing honey, baby. 